A suicide bomber has blown himself up at a military training camp on the outskirts of Somalia's capital Mogadishu. According to Somali police, an armed suicide bomber with an explosive jacket entered the camp and blew, up, and blew himself up after firing at soldiers. Somali militant group Al-Shabaab has claimed to have killed up to 25 people in that attack. And this attack comes just a day after the country's new military chief survived a suicide car bomb that killed at least 15 people. General Mohammed Ahmed Jimale has just been sworn into office and was traveling in a convoy with senior military officials when the bomb exploded near Somalia's defense ministry compound. Well, let's stay with Somalia for the moment. 19 crew members have been freed from a ship captured by Somali pirates in the Gulf of Aden. Maritime officials received an alert at the weekend that pirates had boarded the ship about 120 kilometers from the coast of Yemen. Now, a spokesperson for the UK Marine uh, Trade Operation says that Navy ships from India, China and Pakistan changed course to approach the Tuvalu-flagged ship soon after the alert was raised. The crew from the Chinese ship boarded the hijacked ship at dawn, freeing on those on board. The hijacked ship was traveling between the ports of Kelang in Malaysia and Aden in Yemen. The first hijacking by Somali pirates in five years occurred last month, but this is the second raid since then. And we can get you more insights now into what's happening in Somalia. I'm joined by Hassan Sheikh Ali Noor. He's a security and strategy analyst who's now joining us live from Mogadishu. Hassan, thank you for joining us on Africa Live. This latest attacks come just a few days after President Mohammed Abdullahi offered militants within Al-Shabaab a 60-day amnesty. Now, while declaring war on that group, what message is the group which has claimed responsibility for this attack sending to authorities there? Uh, thank you very much for having me and if I try to reply to your question, actually the, there is uh, two uh, fundamental issues which actually the, the militant, they are not, uh, number one, they are not recognized the government, they are not recognized the president for a major leadership. So to his calling for amnesty or to surrender their weapon in 60 days, it doesn't make any sense since they are not recognizing him as a president of Somalia. Secondly, even if they recognize him, the Al-Shabaab or the, the militant are part of the global campaign against what they call the non-Islamic non status. And their, their guidelines or their principles not include to just to talk or to debate or to accept what they right. are so-called uh, non-statists or the non-Muslims, what they are offering. So nothing today with the, what the president says. The group, they have to carry out their usual business. They have to do their own uh, campaign against the so-called uh, non-state or non-Muslim status. Right. Uh, well, Hassan, uh, previous amnesty offers there, even though you do mention that uh, they do not recognize the president, previous amnesty offers there to Al-Shabaab and even military action seems to have failed to stop the militants launching such attacks. So in your view, though, what needs to be done to change this? Actually, they, they have to do their usual uh, business. And then in these days, they have to show their muscular, their power, and they, of course, they want to, to disqualify or to demean the, what the president says, they, they, to say that we are going to, uh, to declare the war against them. So as soon as the president said we are, he declared the war against them, they are want to come to him before he go to them. So this is the, what we call the brand of mercenaries. So they just show them their, their capability, their strengthening, their own uh, strategic uh, 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 st style to show you we are not easy one you cannot target us either to call the or to declare the war against us or not it is same right. still we are there we exist and we can do what we want they want to show that right uh, hassan sheikh ali noor security and strategy analyst joining us there from mogadishu uh, thank you